Dramatic development in one of Central New York's most high-profile murder cases. Former Dr. Robert Newlander, convicted of murdering his wife Leslie in 2012, granted a new trial. It's a decision 10 months in the making. And tonight, News Channel 9, Sidney Shalafo, breaking down how this case began and what could happen next. It was early in the morning on September 17, 2012. A 911 call coming from a home on Shalimar Way in DeWitt. The wife of prominent OBGYN Robert Newlander slipping and falling in the shower. Her tragic death ruled an accident. Fast forward to more than a year later, the medical examiner changes Leslie Newlander's cause of death to homicide. Her husband, now the prime suspect. His three week long murder trial ending with a conviction in 2015. The appeals process, routine in these types of cases, begins almost immediately. But just six weeks after Newlander's found guilty, the spotlight shifts to juror number 12, accused of texting family and friends about the case. Newlander's request to have his conviction overturned denied by Judge Thomas Miller, and the once beloved physician sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. The appeals process handed to one of the state's highest courts last October. Newlander's attorney laying out four reasons why he should be granted a new trial. One of them, that juror's misconduct. Now, eight months later, three appellate court judges agreeing, citing that young woman's actions as a key reason why Newlander's conviction must be overturned. His former attorney applauding that decision. I continue to be a, a big believer in Bob and Bob Newlander. Uh, this is just one more chapter in a very tragic story um, that uh, I think it was the right decision. Uh, you know, juror misconduct is a, a grave intrusion into a person's uh, right to a fair trial. It's as if you think you think your case is being heard by 12 people, but uh, if there are other people on email and texts and and, and Instagram chats uh, contributing to the decision, uh, it really stacks the deck against you. And Sydney, just what are the things go from here in this case? Well, Rob, that really is the big question. So the Onondaga County District Attorney's Office saying right now it's weighing its options. One is to appeal to the state's highest court in Albany for the defense. The next step could be a motion to release Newlander from prison as he awaits a new trial. All right, very good, Sydney. Thank you. That's the big question. The Onondaga County District Attorney's Office. Alexander Shapiro issuing this statement tonight. Bob Newlander and his family greatly appreciate the court's thoughtful decision, which reaffirms that every defendant has the right to an impartial jury and a fair trial. East Syracuse's fire.